Hi everyone, this is Lady Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a card reading for the collective, mostly for Twin Flames, but if you are watching this video, then it's meant for you. All right, so I'm going to use this deck right here, which is the Eye of the Lotus. It's a bilingual deck, and we will get right into this reading. Let us see what's going on with your connection, your person today. Okay, what's coming up here? All right, we have good luck, chance. Okay, so there is some sort of a uh, new wave coming in for your person where the luck is starting to turn around. And maybe it is because they're inviting new energies in or they're allowing themselves to have hope. And maybe it's because you are sending them some of your energy as well. Since the last time you're sending them some energy uh, before their difficult situation that they're going through. So they have been turning their luck around. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we have number 10 here. I'm looking at the dice, okay? Uh, with the endings and new beginnings, all right? 33, self-mastery also. Okay, so yeah, a lot of good things uh, are starting to happen again for your person. Maybe just a bit of good news for them coming in here. Okay, let's see what else is happening. Let's see what else is happening for your person. And this is, I feel it's because they're looking at this twin flame journey from a different perspective. They're looking at what's happening from uh, to them from a different perspective now. So it's changing everything. I think they're going to try to manifest um, the crap out of this. So we have a uh, stabilization in reverse. So there's nothing that is stable right now. <laughs> okay. Every single thing is up in the air with this. Um, this uh, June season, this Gemini season, um, the energies are volatile. So they're going to just have to roll with, the, um, go with the flow. And this is what they're going to be trying to do here when it comes to this um, this roll of the dice. So they're shaking the dice, they roll it, and they're like, okay, it's going to be unstable. Let's go with this. Let me just do this. I got this. Um, I'm going to be strong, even though it's a difficult time for me right now. It's okay. All right, let's see what else. All right, we have abundance. So abundance is definitely coming to your person in many different ways. Um, it's the kind of abundance that is not grounding, as I said. So it can be like this opportunity where there's a lot of risk that they have to take. Or it could be also like a transaction that they're hesitating to sign. That kind of thing. That kind of abundance. That one that is like, oh my God, it's very fearful. Like you're so afraid to like do it, but you know it's going to bring you so much. That's what's happening in Gemini season. The fear. Okay, so your fears are going to be, you're going to be confronted with all your fears. Okay, and you're going to have to go past that. You're going to have to show courage. Courage just like a lion. Okay, and I kept having this vision of like a lion in a cage, like just raging, okay, um, all week and uh, last week as well. So that was a little bit of uh, the image of the collective for the DMs now. They're like raging, okay, and things sometimes are not going their way. But look, it does feel like it's not going to last for long. Um, the, DM, the DF is bringing in some energies to calm that lion down. And they are also... Um, uh, bringing in some energies to calm the collective down because when the lion is raging, when the the, the DM and the DF are, um, are not in balance, even on the 5D, there's a bunch of different things that just happen in the community. So you'll notice that there's some things that happen. Okay, so um, I'm not going to say too much about that. I'm going to stop that right there. But um, definitely the abundance is coming for your person, okay? Spring in reverse. So there's a waiting time, a waiting period that you'll have to go through with your person. It seems like uh, it's not going to be too, too long, less than three months, but it's definitely going to be a little bit of a wait. So you're going to have to practice patience with your person right here. Uh, it feels like they need time. They need time to figure some stuff out, to ground this abundance that's coming towards them, ground these opportunities and to feel like they're on their feet again because they're not grounded so much right now as i said it is a time of like multiple changes and your person is a you know they're just struggling a little bit and trying to grab just grasp at straws right and you know grasping at straws is just it's not going to work so they're looking for some solutions to their issues and there are some solutions and they're actually going to level up right here during this time so let them be okay uh i'm going to pull from the light seers and get some messages directly from your person what's your person telling you right now okay, let's see i'll get some names angel numbers the angel number is coming to me right now so it's six five nine three six five nine three angel number 
I'm getting the names. Okay, I got Mary, Alan. Um, I'm getting Damien. I'm getting uh, Tracy. Um, I'm getting uh, Monique, Yamika, and one with an S. Okay, I'm getting... Okay, all right. So, yeah, that's not, that looks like Sean. Okay, all right, so let's go. Direct messages. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So your person is saying, it's okay. Yeah, just give me some time. I am healing. I'm healing my coin. I'm healing my health. I'm healing all sorts of different things happening right now. Um, let me be. Um, I'm trying to, like, get my my stuff in order, my finances in order. I am untying, untangling, okay? So they were in a situation that they didn't want to tell you about, and they are getting out of it, okay? Slowly but surely. That's what they're saying. So they're saying, pray for me. Send me some energy. I need it. I'm getting out of this. I had a, a I had a um a turn of a little bit of good luck on the financial side. Okay. Okay, we have the sun card coming out. Sun is soon to come out. Different perspective, seeing things from a different perspective. You are my sunshine. I know it now. Um, you are my stability, I know that now. Anytime I think of you, I feel more grounded. Anytime I think of you, I feel like you are my blessing in this life. Um, I hear them saying like, thank the universe for you because otherwise I'll be probably dead. I mean, like there's so many things that they're saying. Okay. They're saying about you. Okay. So they are very grateful for you. That's them showing their appreciation. Okay. Um, they bathe in your sun rays and the star. Okay. So yeah, they see you as their star, their love their sun, their light, their energy. Um, you bring um, energy to them. You bring healing to them. You bring understanding. You bring downloads. So many different things. So we have the 7018. You help them to um, master themselves. You have taught them how to um, get a hold of their addictions, all of that. But, you know, I'm saying a lot of things like, you taught them, you did this, blah, blah, blah. No. I mean, it is true, but also they went through it themselves so they have to give themselves credit as well uh because they could have just ran and some of them did run okay yes we know they did run but um they did do some work as well okay and they um triggered you enough to bring you to this point where you're looking at this video so we got to be grateful and um for some of the things we're not going to accept all of it but we're going to be grateful for some of the things that they brought into our lives and um, they are being grateful right now as well. Okay. All right, what else, Spirit? What's the message? I have a lot of responsibility and I'm very busy. A lot of responsibility and very busy. Look how loaded that um, uh, animal is. Oh my gosh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. And the road is winding and they're going down the road with no light is it's 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 given hustler vibes okay they are hustling right now and they need to focus so all concentration on the task at hand and then when that's done they will get back to you okay so that's why we say patience here with this spring card in reverse patience in the collective that's what's needed so it's a lot a lot of um responsibility at home at work with the colleagues like from everywhere and when they think of you, they feel joy and they want to have this Ten of Pentacles with you. They want to have this, um, this beautiful wish fulfillment with you, which could be translated for some of you into like marriage engagement. It could also be translated into like just a um, stabilization of this situation, of this connection, just knowing that you guys are permanent friends or it can be also like you guys doing some sort of like business project together or some sort of charity project together. Definitely something to ground this connection right here. They need a treaty representative of your union. That's what they need. Okay. So whatever that form that takes, it's going to be there. And there's gonna, not going to be drama. There's no drama, um, no conflict uh, or less than you think. So I think that some of you out there, you had a lot of fear surrounding this union. 
a lot of fears of what this might look like and spirit is saying don't worry too much because it's not going to be as bad as you think there's not going to be as much drama as you think there's not going to be as much like um backstabbing and all of that as you think because we're going to calm the situation down for you so that we can come into this okay so when your person is ready after this period of time um it's going to be like divine timing stepping in okay all right let's pull some oracle cards here to give you some you know uh inspiration insight what to do in this relationship how to move forward okay kim Cran's uh archetypes the wild unknown archetypes let's see kim Cran's. so based on some of the work by carl jung and some other books now let's see what they have we have the flame oh my god okay twin flame stuff okay okay twin flames the flame all of this so the flame is also your solar plexus chakra so if you uh, focus on your solar plexus chakra at this time it means that you have to work on your self-esteem and your self-confidence and when you do that it is going to help you to set healthy boundaries with this person and it's going to help you guys to have a healthier relationship in general and this is all going to be translated into your community and into, into your environment which is going to be a good good thing for everyone involved, okay? So uh, do work on your solar plexus chakra, and this twin, twin flame journey will take care of itself. All right, let's see what else. Know your worth and practice self-love. We have the animal. So the animal is there's a lot of things that um uh, are important to the two of you, and it has to do with nature and animals and whatever animal totem you have they are asking you also to kind of like focus on this animal totem which will give bring you like unique downloads that are for you and that your um animalistic side your shadow side is also coming into balance with this flame right here and this person this person knows how to bring out your inner animal but the balance is here okay so this is also part of what the twin flame journey is about this person bringing balance to your animal side and you bringing balance to theirs okay all right so that is part of um what this whole journey is about and it's going to help your community and everyone around you in general okay so i'm gonna leave it here for this reading um do like subscribe hit that notification bell and i will bring you more of these love and life take care